And whether maritime laws function in religion. Whoa, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. The Holy See. The Holy See. Yeah. Uh -huh. The seat of power is the Holy See, the mm -hmm. Sea of Mankind, the, the Holy Blood. Uh, it's, um, I could go into for hours on this if you want to, but I'll give you an example. Uh, since all banking law is, uh, is, of course, money, and money is maritime admiralty. Well, as I said, the judge sits on the bench. He rules on the bench, and the bench in Latin is a, is a bank. Uh -huh. Where do you find banks? You find of banks of a, on the side of a river. Right. Called river banks. And what does a river bank do? It directs the flow of the currency. Uh -huh. Because your currency is the cash flow, the liquid asset. Wow. The, and so money goes through your hands like water. No, yes. no, money is water. <laughs> That's amazing. It's the flow. It's the ebb and flow, the tides. Money wow. goes out, money comes in. That's why you have income taxes. There's nothing wrong with income taxes. The way the system in America is set up, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. you, they print the money, but as, as much money as you print, you've got to take some back in to make it a valuable. The tide. The tide. So right. the, it goes out, it's got to come back in. Wow. So it's not, the, the income tax is not there because the government needs the money. No, no, government finances itself through all kinds of other ways. Income tax is to pull back in the breath, uh -huh. uh, like the breath, the breath of Shiva. You put it out, and they print it out, it goes out into the world. Now you have to pull it back in to wow. inhale. Then you exhale again, and then you pull it back in because it's, it's the ebb and flow of commerce. It's uh -huh. the ebb and flow of the juice that makes it all happen. Saturn was referred to as, in the ancient world, the planet or the god Saturn was referred to as El. El, and from which we get the concept of the worship of El or the worship of God. The Elohim. From Elohim. Right. Which you know, then once you are worshiping El, you know, the concept is that you now have become an elder. Now, because you're an elder, how did you get to be an elder? You got elected. Oh. Yeah, and once you get elected, how did now you have become one of the elites because you've gotten become elected to be one of the elites? How did you get to be elected with electricity? Wow. Because it's the juice, the the flow. It all goes back flow. to Saturn, you're saying. The ball goes back to the planet Saturn. Now, are all the religions sort of conspiring together to maintain this control? Oh, absolutely, they're, absolutely. They're, and but, but it's not a conscious thing. It's no, 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 of, no, no. Um, it's just business, like the mafia says. Nothing, nothing personal here. It's just business. You're going to corner the market, and the Catholic Church cornered the market and was killing people who didn't buy into their system in the Middle Ages. Mm. And uh, it's still just a business today. But let's talk about conscious in a sense, because it's not people. There seems like to be a force that's beyond the human realm that's manipulating. Well, of course, when the Bible talks about the spirituality and mm -hmm. God, and when you talk about God, I mean, uh, uh, you know, that's a whole subject in itself about God as right. a, as a word. God is simply dog spelled backwards. I know. That's why the teachings about God is called church dogma, because it goes back to the dog star in Egypt. The Sirius, serious. the dog star. Mm -hmm. The whole concept of religion, words, terms, courts, government, financing, commerce is a massive, incredible story of how words and terms and symbols have been, uh, have been used for thousands of years. And 99% of the people on the face of the earth have no idea in the world how this stuff really works. Well, it's been used to manipulate and control people. Of course, of course. Because we still are seafaring people, so we're still under the law of the maritime. Of the of maritime, that's right. right. It's, just, it's just business, nothing personal. Mm, yeah, yeah well, but did you know that if a policeman gives you a ticket, that ticket, uh, a cop gives, pulls you over and mm. gives you a ticket. That is called a ticket in commerce. Uh -huh. And so if you go to buy something and you don't have the money and it's too, it's too expensive, you ask me to co-sign for you. Now, if I co-sign for you to buy something and I co-sign on the ticket, that means if you don't pay it, I have to, right? Right. Therefore, when the cop gives you a ticket, he signs it first. It's called a ticket in commerce because right. money is going to change hands. Right. Therefore, when you sign it, you are the co-signer mm. of the ticket in commerce. Yes. Well, as a co-signer, you don't have to pay the ticket. You were just the co-signer, and you can decide, I don't think I want to pay that ticket. Uh, I so can't. then, no. So then you send the ticket, 
and the paperwork to to the secretary of state mm -hmm. and they then give it to the attorney general the attorney general then sends it back to the cop and the cop has to pay the ticket because he's the one that signed it first you were just a co-signer but as long as you don't understand this People don't understand the way banks and, and, and commerce works. And government. And, and government and, and, and religion. And, and taxes. So it's all together. Religion, government, corporations. It's all one big show. <laughs> and, and if you're not licensed <laughs> to play in the show, like, like, uh, like uh, George Carlin used to say, it's a big club and you ain't in it. But <laughs> once you understand how the club really works, what the words mean. Right. I mean, I'll give you another example. When you drive, when you buy a new car, uh -huh. what do you get with the new car? In the glove compartment, you get something called the operator's manual. Right. Because when you're in a car, you are referred to as an operator of a motorized vehicle. Right. You're an operator of a car. But if with those wheels, I don't care if it's a tank or mm -hmm. bicycle or motorcycle or car, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. If you're using those wheels to make money, now it's business. Uh -huh. Now you're not an operator. By law... In, in corporate law, you are now referred to as a driver. That's why you have a bus driver, a cab driver, a truck driver, and not a not a cab operator. So what's the difference? There's a the world of difference because as a driver, you're now in business. Uh -huh. You're making money with those wheels. You're not using it for personal use. You are now a driver. So now you are in business. You got to have a license. It's called a driver's license uh -huh. because you are now in maritime admiralty law making money. So you have to have a driver's license. Wow.